Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life and welcome to our we leave for the airport in an hour and 15 minutes and we haven't even started packing vlog. <laughs> we are going to Seattle for about five days just for a quick trip down there. We come home on Christmas Day, um, but we do need to pack clothes. So that's exactly what we're, got, what we're about to do. Sherry is almost done with work for the day and we've got our suitcases out right here. <sighs> we should probably start packing. We may not have started packing, but we have started getting out clothes. <laughs> um, actually, this is everything I'm gonna bring from undershirts, socks, shirts, intimates, um, <laughs> little dressier kind of shirts for like Christmas Eve, and then some pants, my toiletries, neck pillow, and rain jackets because, well, yeah. Seattle. How are you? A little bit stressed. I feel like this is the norm for our trips where we're like, we've got this, totally fine. And then the last couple of hours, you are just... Panicking. I don't feel panicked at all. I'm glad. You know, I don't know why. We're going to a city where we could literally buy everything. Okay, then I'm not packing. Maybe you should pack some stuff. Because <laughs> if we don't have to buy stuff, that'd be great. <laughs> but if we forget well, something, well. it's gonna be just fine. Yeah. As long as we have our raincoats. And on this trip, we are packing a couple things that we don't normally pack including a Christmas tree. I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, and some gifts, let me show you. So I found these at Alaska Wild Berry product. Um, you can see we have a whole suitcase full of them. They are chocolate covered Oreos that they made there with little Christmas decorations on them. You can see they have like the wild berry, well, some of them have like a wild berry stamp somewhere. Um, I thought these would be good gifts for our crew on our flight to Seattle and then on the flight home on Christmas day. Just a couple boxes to them to enjoy a little sweet treat on the plane. Um, and also we're bringing these for people who are coming to our meetup in Seattle on Saturday. Just a little thanks for coming out on the weekend before Christmas to meet us. So we have a bunch of those packed in the suitcase right there. And we debated bringing like our stockings or gifts because we are waking up there on Christmas morning and we were like, are we gonna wanna do stockings? We just don't wanna pack that stuff. So what we've decided is that we're not gonna bring stockings or Christmas gifts or anything like that with us to Seattle. We will do those when we get home uh, Christmas evening. But there is something we are bringing that is Christmassy. Um, tell me your thoughts on why in the world we are bringing a Christmas tree with us. Because it's Christmas and we need to have some kind of decoration in our hotel room. So I completely agree with you, just so you know. Not something. Hotel rooms are just kind of sterile, right? right? Generic. As they should be, as they need to be. But I want some kind of Christmassy something. So we just got a little tree. Let me go show you guys the tree we got. I found it at Michael's and you can see it will, we'll fluff it out when we get there. It's just a little tree in a little burlap kind of bag. And I found those little fairy lights that we are gonna string around the tree. We'll probably set this um, if our room has like a table or a desk or something like that. But we wanted something Christmassy. And so that is going to be in our hotel room. You know, we've gone on dozens and dozens of trips in our marriage, and we have packed lots of different things. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we have ever packed a Christmas tree to go on a trip with us. But I'm excited to get it all set up, and we will show you all of that. We'll give you a room tour when we get to Seattle, probably in the next video, and show you where our Christmas tree lives for the next several days. Now, I think the plan is for Sherry and I to share one big suitcase. I got two of them out. I don't think, um, I don't think we're gonna need both of them, though. So we are gonna share one big suitcase, I think, and then bring this as our carry-on. Um, this has, of course, the the gifts, the little chocolates. It's also going to have Sherry's pillow in there. She's gonna bring that for the week. Um, but I think those two bags will be enough for us. Weather in Seattle is supposed to be in the 40s, 50s, uh, possibility for rain one day, but maybe decent weather the rest of the time. So we're not bringing any of our winter, like warmer clothes. Um, we're not bringing anything too nice. Even on Christmas Eve, uh, we're going to see the Broadway play of White Christmas. I think I'm just gonna wear like this button up shirt, jeans. Um, so that's kind of as nice as we are going. And then the rest of the time, it's mostly just 
t-shirts. And for those of you asking, yes, I am packing a Seahawks t-shirt because it's Seattle. Sherry Beth, how many Seahawks t-shirts are you packing because it's Seattle? I don't own any. Okay, so on this trip, the goal is to buy Sherry Seahawks t-shirts. Maybe yes. Heck yes. <laughs> I also don't think I'm gonna use packing cubes because this is kind of all that I have. So I think it'll fit fine in the suitcase. I have more than enough space on my side. So that's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. The only thing I'm struggling with, and this is, I feel like this is kind of a constant struggle for me, are shoes. Um, my shoes take up so much space. And so I'm trying to figure out what the heck I want to bring. So I decided to bring my white Nikes and my black uh, travel shoes. I think I can make it work with those. I was gonna bring my extra tough, like my rain boots, but they're huge. So I am going to do without, but you guys, I think that my side is done. And I think actually the Christmas tree is gonna fit best on my side as well. Um, it's not ideal, but maybe, yeah. Maybe something like that. Sherry's using her packing cubes like the professional that she is. Ooh, slippers. Mm -hmm. That is such a good call. I know, my feet are always cold. And like if there's tile floors in the bathroom or if there's tile floors in the hotel room or anywhere. Yeah, that's why I always try to pack slippers. Smart. Yeah. Sherry's side is almost done as well. Um, you said you're bringing two pairs of jeans in case one of them gets wet. Yep. Smart. I learned that lesson actually the last time we spent Christmas in Seattle. Yeah. It can get very, soggy. Very wet clothes and nothing else to change into. That's not fun at all. Mm -mm. You're bringing one purse? Yep. This has kind of become your travel purse. Yes, because it's small, it's lightweight, but it has all the pockets that I need. Mm -hmm. You found that at the State it's Fair this year. Body. Yeah. And then raincoat. Boom. But now we do need to weigh it and see. Mm -hmm. Our suitcase is under 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. Not the truth. All we need is for it to be under 50 pounds. Oh, it's like right at 50. Like, think we're okay? Oof, I don't know. Uh-oh. What we decided to do is take out just a couple things like Sherry's makeup bag and some jewelry and put it in the smaller suitcase that has a little bit of room. Yep. Rather than trying to risk it because it's the holidays, flights are full, and while they might let bags slide or weight slide normally, <laughs> I don't know they will today. Right. You struggling, Sherry? Well, yeah, it's like a quarter of an inch too big. You can also take those lights out probably. And I'm super glad we decided to open this up and get rid of the box because I realized that we need three AA batteries to make our lights work. So I'm gonna go get some batteries. My only concern with the two suitcase setup that we are bringing um, is that both of the suitcases, even right now are packed. And every time we go to Seattle, we always buy stuff. We buy books, we buy stuff at Pike Market, we buy lots of stuff. So we may have to look for a duffel bag <laughs> while we're down there to bring home whatever we buy because there is no space in either of our bags. Okay, we're keeping in mind, says Sherry. That one whole side of this little one is our not gifts. in the back with us. That's true. Sherry brings up a very good point. Have a little bit of wiggle room. I'm so glad you have a bigger brain than me. <laughs> Now let's talk books. This is what I'm bringing with me. Bad Blood. I am about 100 pages into it. So I have, I think, 300 pages left. I'm only bringing this. I'm not gonna bring the next book because I don't think I'll finish this on this trip, but I'm definitely bringing it. Also have the cord bag ready to go. You can see all of the vlog camera batteries. All the charging cords, more stuff over there. And now the weird part. What do you do with an advent calendar when you're gonna be gone until Christmas day? <laughs> so we get back right here, the 25th. So, I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna move him one day over and then when we get back home, we'll do like a big jump. Now let's talk about what people really care about. Your books, not my one book. <laughs> what are you bringing? What are you reading? Tell us. Um, I'm currently reading, I forget what it's called, From This Moment, I think. Okay. On my Nook. So All I'm right. reading that. I also have books loaded on my Kindle already. Okay. Somebody asked recently, and I want to ask you, they were like, why does Sherry have a Nook and a Kindle? They serve different purposes. Okay. 
Um, so there are books that I can get from Barnes & Noble that I can't get on Amazon. There are books that I can get on Amazon that I can't get at Barnes & Noble. That's so weird to me. I know. So I, they served them purposes. This is just an e-reader. This doesn't do um, anything besides uh -huh. read a book. Um, this connects to the internet. I, on a plane, I can watch movies. All right. More of a tablet have, kind of thing. Yes. Got it. Kindle. Um, and then I'm also bringing... The 12 Dates of Christmas. Naturally. That's the only, like, physical copy book you're bringing? Yes. All right. So Nook, Kindle, one book. Yeah. One last thing. Uh, you just got this this week. Did. It is... Oh, turning on my phone. Um, it holds cords. Mm -hmm. I've always had one. You've just kind of used mine or just thrown cords in your bag. Yep. Yep. And so now, and this actually holds my work phone and all of my cords and my little reading light. Very cool. So. And yeah. you're just gonna keep that in your carry-on? I'm just gonna keep it in my carry-on. And Sherry's also bringing a water bottle. You always travel with a water bottle. Yes, I, I do. I don't, and I always regret not, but not enough to I pack a water, them. to actually bring a water <laughs> bottle. Turning our trees off, because even though we have somebody coming by, checking on the house, checking on Missy, taking care of everything, we don't wanna leave the trees on the whole time that we're gone, so. We're gonna go ahead and turn them off. We've left out extra food for Missy up here. And we filled up her food dish, cleaned out her water dish. I'm gonna give her a little poop palace one more clean before we leave. And let's say goodbye to the princess. Missy, we love you. You're gonna have a very nice Christmas Eve by yourself. One of your best friends is gonna come by and see you. You'll be just fine. What a sweetie. Bye, Missy girl. We're all packed. Yeah. Quicker than we expected. Yeah. Are you less stressed now? Yeah, a little bit. You ready to get to the airport? <laughs> yeah. We decided we're just gonna go a little bit early, go to the Alaska Lounge, hang out, have a drink, have some food. Get some dinner. Get some dinner, because yeah. we do need to eat. Mm -hmm. um, so we get to Seattle about midnight tonight. We will take a taxi into downtown. Um, normally we take the light rail, but that late at night, we just want to be to our hotel. <laughs> and so we're going to take a taxi, get there, crash. We'll pick you guys up in the morning and you get to see where we're staying, all the things we're doing on day number one, bring you along for our whole Seattle trip. But Sherry, I have really good news. Uh, yeah. For the next five days, <laughs> no snow. No freaking snow. We're ready for a break from the snow. <laughs> yes. Friends, we love you. We'll see you on the next Lug Like video.